How to recognize authentic hand loom from power loom. For those who wish to identify a genuine hand loom, it becomes important to know how to differentiate a hand loom from a power loom and following are a few pointers. A handloom, by its very nature of being hand-woven, is bound to have a rugged uneven surface giving it an ethnic appeal. Knots, thread pulls, near the border are a commonality in hand-woven saris. Even if woven with the same yarns, a power loom sari will be even in texture and flawless, lacking the allure of handlooms. Handloom saris are woven by pinning the saris to the loom. They often have pin marks or holes on equal distance on top or bottom of sari or near borders, known as selvage. In a power loom this is not so, they are flawless and smooth. So to identify a hand-woven sari, look at its bevar or edges. Handloom saris are soft in texture and more resilient whereas a power loom sari will be stiff and hard in feel due to compact weaving and even spreading of the weft which happens in power loom. To test the softness and its malleability, one must drape the sari and check its feel. Handloom saris drape well. 4. Handloom saris often have extra threads left at the end of the palu, which can be used for making tassels. The reverse side is a replica in a hand loom whereas in a power loom lot of loose threads or floats will be hanging on the reverse side, as it's not possible to weave them in if woven on power loom. So to test, one must turn over the sari and check the back side, especially the polav as more work goes into the polav design. Hand looms have a certain advantage over power looms too, and to know this is useful, as this throws light upon their design possibilities, durability and strength. So here are a few facts. Artisans work arduously to weave minute details. The level of intricacy and sharpness of design cannot be matched in a power loom sari. Authentic handlooms are decorated with intricate, traditional Persian patterns like Omru, Ambi, and Domak. Machine-made weaves don't usually use these traditional patterns or carry the level of detailing that handlooms do. Certain kinds of weaving techniques are only possible on the handloom. For instance, the Banaras Ikadwa weave cannot be replicated on the power loom. 2. Power loom exerts a unique pressure which thins the fabric and thus a hand loom sari with same raw material used, will weigh heavier and will have more body. When you hold a sari, you can feel the body's strength. 3. Due to loose weaving of hand looms, which also makes them more resilient as mentioned earlier, they breathe, allowing air to pass through whereas in power looms you experience a feeling of blockage. 4. Due to uneven weft weaving of hand loom, they have better recovery from creases or wrinkles as compared with power looms. Due to the thinness of the sari woven on power loom, caused by speed resulting in abrasion, the weaker fiber breaks and sometimes a group of short or broken fibers on the surface of the fabric become tangled together in a tiny ball and a pill is formed. This reduces the strength of the fabric whereas in a handloom sari this does not happen. In a handloom sari the knots are subdued and near the border, whereas in a power loom it can happen anywhere and it protrudes out. So when you drape a handwoven sari, remember, it is not just a six yard of fabric that you drape, but you embody somebody's thought process, somebody's creative skill, somebody's toil and hard work and moreover a family lives and tradition thrives empowering millions.